So welcome back to some more Pokemon Soul Silver. where last time... I'm getting a phone call. No. Where last time... We went back to Azalea Town for a quick Pokeball from Kurt. And made our way through Route 34 into Goldenrod City, where we started talking about the local commodities and the local scams in the city. And this time, we're continuing the exploration, because we have still so much more to see of this place. Oh, this is one big town. I don't know where anything is. No kidding, man. This house has nothing for us right now, but... My big brother Bill made the Pokemon storage system. Good to know. Oh, you you collect Pokemon? My son Bill is an expert. He just got called to the Pokemon uh, Center in Ecartique City. That's just north of us. Maybe we'll see him. Heading over here is an underground section. Uh, oh god, it's the blue Pikachu again. At least this time it makes sense that you're ahead of me. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here's the fashion, uh, fashion case. Did you say you want it? I knew it. This is a present for me. At least it's not forced like it is in black and white. Keep accessories in the fashion case, okay? I should get going. See ya. And that is the last time we'll ever see of Lyra. Yeah, she's not that prominent. There are some shops downstairs. But there are also trainers. I'm scared to go down there. They can't fight you if you don't have Pokemon, lady. Heading down. Oh, God, we got... Yep, there's trainers. I got booted out of the game corner. I kept winning at the new coin game, and they thought I was cheating. Probably were cheating, man. Oh, super nerds, which usually have Grimers for some reason. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get some levels on card. There are Pokemon in here I do not want to fight with card, especially since I don't have a certain move that I want. Which is kind of bad right now, because I don't remember when you get the move that I want. I think it's 24. I really hope it's not. Please tell me I can kill you with tackle. Okay, thank god. This is Grimers are notorious for just being annoying by either setting up a bunch of defensive stuff or setting up minimize, so... There is that. At least the nice thing is if they do try to do that, I have Aerial Ace, so... Please kill... Yeah. Easy enough. Crumble. Further up is another trainer. My Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. I don't think haircuts dictate power, but uh, actually maybe in Saitama's case, I don't know. Look at Tongue. We won't be able to get this Pokemon for a long time. And this thing's gonna have a crap ton of XP to come from it, so I will gladly take you down. Oh, or you're just gonna confuse me. You suck. Okay. Usually, I'm very unlucky. Maybe I can get lucky. Thank you. I, I love how uh, hypocritical I'll, uh, I sound sometimes when I say I'm very unlucky. Usually, I am a very unlucky person. I have... Oh, there it is. Brick Brick. That's why I wanted that level. Yes. Okay. Brick Brick's going to save us in a, in a few minutes here. Definitely getting rid of Tackle, because Tackle sucks. But yeah, sometimes I sound hypocritical, because... I'll get very lucky in the LPs, but seriously, that is... I guess it's the inverse of the LP curse. I don't know. This guy is interesting. Welcome. I run the Pokemon Salon. I'm the older and the better of the two haircut brothers. I can make your Pokemon beautiful for just 500 bucks. Grooming gives a better look. Your Pokemon will feel uh, become friendlier and more beautiful. Would you like me to do that? This guy is interesting. Every day but Monday will be one of the haircut brothers who will set, er, well, up a Pokemon's happiness stat. Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday is the younger, while Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday is the older. The older, I think, also charges more for the same thing, yeah. So, this is very helpful if you want to use a Togepi or a Zubat for their happiness evolutions. However, on the weekend, an old woman will sell inexpe inexpensive herbal medicine. It's there, it's... All it does is it heals your Pokemon at the cost of lowering their happiness. It's not great. And on Monday morning specifically, a man will be here to sell discounted items. So, you can actually buy up these items and then sell them for profit if you so wish. Guess it's one way of making money. 
did you consider the types of Pokemon? Yeah, I, I do, actually. That's why I have a multiple. I, that's why I have several Pokemon of different types. Super Nerd Teru has Magnemite, and that's part of the reason I wanted Brick Break. Magnemite's not a Pokemon we'll see until a little bit later, but just know that they're all weak to fighting because they're part steel. And can I just say this right now? And this is always a nitpicky thing with the Magnemite line. It makes sense that coughing has the, the ability of levitate because, you know, it's floating. It makes a little less sense with Haunter because it's just a ghost. How the hell does the Magnemite line not have levitate? Seriously, it's literally floating there. How is it not affected by ground types? It's quad weak to ground as a result. <sighs> I guess that's why they gave it the move of Magnet Rise, but still, I... It always tripped me up as a kid. It's like, wait, these things don't have levitate, right? Even though it clearly is floating there. <sighs> I guess it's just because of geomagnetism. I think that's a thing. I digress. And Voltorb. Won't be able to see that thing for a while either. But Voltorbs are very annoying because they like to explode. Please don't explode on me, buddy. Just going to try to kill you with horn attack. Yeah. I like its cry, too. I don't know why. It's very satisfying to me. Ow. Hey, we'll take care of this nerd la- er, this is not even a nerd, this is just a Pokemon fanatic. I- I guess I do have a rare Pokemon? I do have a Heracross. And what do you have? Oh, right, you have Slowpokes. Oh, God. I think it's literally a Slowpoke and- Actually, I think that's- I don't remember what your second Pokemon is. I want to say it's another Slowpoke, but I do not know. And you're using Yawn. That sucks. Which means next turn I'm going to fall asleep. Might as well just kill you now and then swap later. Just, just please don't swap out to something that's weak to fighting. So it kind of suck. And I'm asleep. Yay. Slowpoke. Okay. That is where I bring out Jag. Just, just. I mean, hey. Water types are this thing's speciality. So what do you expect? Slowpoke. Yoink. I actually do really do like Slowpoke's line. Maybe it's just because of the whole was it slow bro or slow king in the Pokemon movie where you couldn't find pants. It's just, uh, and I apparently can find a voice crack. Level 19 though. Heading over here is something kind of cool. Welcome to the Memorial Photo Studio. We are no ordinary uh, ordinary studio. You can wear a Team Rocket uniform to take a picture. Would you like to try it? Sure, why not? Hey, we look cool. Say Fuzzy Pickles. Good job. You can check the picture using the PC. This other guy is, uh, you can play dress up here. There's no rewards for this. Um, I'm not really gonna show it because there's really no point to it. It essentially just imagine what the... If you played Pokemon Black and White, you know what this thing is. It's just you put random accessories on your Pokemon, you make them look pretty, and then you can look at the pictures later. It's a completely side thing. There's literally no rewards to it, so... I'm not going to cover it because there's really no point. I was challenged to a battle downstairs. It's rough down there. You better be careful. I mean, the worst thing that happened was that my Heracross got put to sleep. Speaking of which, I am actually going to go and heal real quick so I can get rid of that ailment. And you know, there's people in here we have not talked to, so I might as well go and show talking to them. I wonder how many kinds of Pokemon there are in the world. A long time ago, Professor Oak said there were 150 ty uh, different types of Pokemon. Since then, many new Pokemon have been discovered in different regions. There are almost 500 different kinds known now. Specifically, 493. I hate that I remember that number. A higher level Pokemon doesn't always win. After all, I may have a type disadvantage. I don't think there's a single Pokemon that is the toughest. Eh, it depends, and depends on their stats. The Colosseum upstairs is for Link battles. Battle records, such as how many times you have in Link battles, and the results are recorded in the back of your trainer card. S things we will never see. So, thankfully we're almost done talking about everything in Goldenrod. There's one more thing we gotta go and take care of, and that is the radio tower. Now this is required. Welcome to Goldenrod's radio tower. I wanna talk to this cork. This cork every day is a lottery corner, so 
if you check in with her every day, you have a chance of getting some items. Am I lucky today? Uh. So the way this works is that your reward is based on how close your Pokemon, uh, Pokemon's ID numbers are to the winning number of the day. Matching the last digit rewards an Ultra Ball. The last two digits re rewards a PP up. The last three and four digits rewards an XP share. That is something for light, uh, later. We won't be able to get that for quite a while. Matching the last four digits can also reward a max revive, and if you somehow match every single digit, you are a master ball, which we don't get till the end of the main game here. Yeah, if you're somehow really lucky or you just have a crap ton of different ID Pokemon. We want to talk to this lady. We have a special quiz campaign. Answer five questions correctly in a row to win a radio card. When you load it up into the Poke here, you will be able to listen to the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to try our quiz? Sure. Can you check the Poke or the town map? Yes, I can. Got that a long time ago. Nidorina, or, or Nidorina can only be female. That's true. Third question, he uses apricots. That's not true, he uses apricorns. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. Sadly, that's true. And Professor, okay, this you would not know unless if you watch the TV. I'm gonna guess, no? Yeah, okay. I can never remember if it was right, yes or no on that one, but we can now listen to the radio. Wow, you did it. I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. Oops, time to go back to the gym. Now don't worry if you messed up the, uh, screw you. Uh, well, I guess I'm not gonna know what she said. Just don't worry if you mess up any of the answers there because you can just constantly do that until you get the radio card. It is a required por a piece of uh, story game stuff. I love Mary from Pokemon Talk. I only know what she sounds like though. Ben is a fabulous DJ. His sweet voice just makes me melt. Speaking of the radio, we now have a new option in here, and I never showed the town map, but yeah, we still have so much more to go. There are five more towns left. Yeesh, up to not mean to exit out there. I want to go back in. If we go to the radio, you have several options here. You have, oh God, I should probably just, I should probably just click the screen. So you have trainer profiles, which if you want to listen to the gym theme, you can. Radio drama, which, has random stuff up uh, Johto case files. What? You got Pokemon Talk, which is talking about Mary and Oak. Again, you wouldn't know the answer to that unless if you had the radio already or checked the TVs in any area. And then this music channel. I don't think there's anything at the top, no. So this bottom right one, you do want to check every few, well, was it every, a little bit every day? There are certain times you want to check that, but I'm gonna head upstairs. Jiggly. You have creepy eyes. Pokemon talk with Professor Oak, the hottest show on the air. Lullabies on the radio would make wild Pokemon sleepy. That's why you don't see many Pokemon when the radio plays lullabies in tall grass. That is an advantage of the radio if you really want to do that. Save up blue, co uh, blue card points for some choice prizes. Here is Buena. Do you know about the radio show called Buena's Password? If you can tell me the password for the program, you'll earn points. Yeah. And she'll give you the blue card. Uh, oh god, no, I did, okay, yeah. So every day she, uh, Buena here will actually go on the radio. Speaking of which, you wanna go on, again, the bottom right here. That's where her show will go. I believe it's like, it's different times of the day. I'll put on screen here for each time. It's very specific times, and she's only on for, I believe, within the hour. So, there's that. Every day, though, you come back here and give her the answer to the password that she puts in the show, and she'll earn you a point for your card. This lady right here will give you rewards for each point. So, for one point, you get a free Pokeball, a full restore for three points, a protein for five points, an iron for ten points, a carbos for fifteen, a nugget for 20, a rare candy for 25, and an HP up for 30. After 30, your card gets reset and you go back through the rewards. It's actually pretty nice if you want to grab a bunch of items. Along with that, there is another reward for maxing out the blue card, but we won't see that for later. This will mostly be an off-screen adventure, so 
I will be doing a lot of that off screen. That's the only piece of things I'll do off screen, really. Radio is good, you know? Cool music and Pokemon information, surprising news and moving dramas. It has everything. The only thing missing would be images. Oops, they call that a TV. Sad how radio is kind of just phased out now, everything's streamed. Sorry, authorized personnel will only be on this point. It wasn't that way before. There's something wrong with the director. Hopefully he doesn't have the Mani Mani statue. So there's only one last thing we can do in Goldenrod, and it's something we can't even actually talk about. Well, we can talk about it, but we can't even do anything about it. This is added within HeartGold and SoulSilver. This is the GTS. Which has really good music and reminds me a lot of Colrass's theme from Black and White 2. You can register where you live on the giant globe. Once you do, you can show your location to anyone you communicate with. All I need to do is leave a Pokemon here to trade. Who knows? It might be traded while I'm, sl I'm asleep tonight. Such a small world it is, eh? Eh. Wait, this is a miniature? The real Earth is millions of times bigger than this? Whoa. Uh, let me talk to you. They say if you communicate with someone, their location is recorded on this giant globe. N Nintendo WFC is so easy to use. Even I can trade Pokemon now. Your favorite is Heracross. Uh, sure. Yes, I was right. I thought so. Yo, yo, yo. Want to let the world know about you? Then you gotta tell... I don't care. You don't have to <laughs> anything to say. You can change your message. Yeah, that's for online stuff. The global terminal has three floors. You can use warp panels for, uh, for getting from one floor to another. A blue panel takes you to the GTS on the ground floor. Take the green panel up uh, to the studios for box data and dress up data on the 2F. Take a pink warp panel to the third floor for the battle video gallery. This week I'll do it. I really want to make top four of the rankings. Using the equipment here, you can easily trade Pokemon with other Pokemon fans on the other side of the world. That's incredible. Uh, used to be able to. Since then, the wireless network system thing for DS games entirely are just gone. Only infrared from here on out. Unless if you connect to uh, specific servers are maintained now, which is actually really cool. It's, it's, it's the only way that the uh, GTS is still somewhat usable. However, we have no use of it. I just want to show it off, and it's really good music, because again, it's very much black and white, but... Anyways, now that we're done with that, we have talked to, I think, everybody here. Um, up here is the Name Raider, so I was, <laughs> I was waiting for the Slugma talk for that. You can go in that tent and, uh, well, do that. Sometimes a healthy Pokemon it may be unable to use its moves. If that happens, heal it at a Pokemon Center or use an item. No duh. Once I was battling, my Pokemon couldn't use any moves. Power points or PP of, of its moves were all gone. Yeah, that's talking about struggle. We'll never see that, trust me. Struggle is very rare. Apparently, there's an odd tree on Route 36. They say it dances when you water it. Oh, of course not. This is a flower shop, so we have to we have watering cans and things like that. But I cannot let you have one. It's too dangerous. Hmm. Well, maybe if you manage to defeat the Golden Rod Gym later, it might be okay. I take your challenge to the Pokemon Gym. This gym is pretty easy. Yo, champ in the making. This gym is home to the normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. So here's the thing, if you're not using a fighting type, you're gonna have hell on earth for this gym. This gym is very notorious for a reason. Now the trainers here are really not that bad. They literally just have Sentrits, Jigglypuffs, uh, I believe one even has a Clefairy, something like that. If you have a fighting type, whether that be a Machop that you got from the trade or Heracross, you are going to steamroll through this gym. It's part of the reason I wanted Heracross on my team to begin with. So, along with that, the gym leader here, she will straight up cheese you. I'm not kidding. We'll see that in a bit. But, uh, yeah, just trust me on that. She is a monster. Almost a level 20. Come on. More Sentrets. The only bad thing about this gym is that all these normal type Pokemon give you so crappy. Oh, was it EXP? They barely give you anything. 
one more Brick Brick down for the count. I didn't really talk about this when we first got Brick Brick either, but Brick Brick has another property of being able to shatter, well, the screen moves, light screen and reflect. So if Pokemon uses that against you, you have a pretty easy way of taking care of it. And yes, this Pokemon gym is in the shape of a Kefairy. It's pretty, yeah, I, I like it. I like that attention to detail. And I want to go over here. There's not that many trainers. That's why I figured we might as well take care of the trainers. So, heading through here. Give it your best shot or I'll take you down. And what do you have? We haven't had a chance. Oh, you have a Meowth, actually. Meowth's the name, which is some... Uh, okay, here's what I don't get. We won't see this until, like, a few more routes, but... Meowth is exclusive to Soul Silver. <laughs> I don't know why. I find it very strange that it is. There's no counterpart that it gets replaced with for Harkle players. I guess it pays to... I mean, I guess it shows that Harkle players do have some losses, but then again, Meowth is not that great unless if you're really wanting money, so... <laughs> And down for the count for the lucky golden cat. I like Meowth though. He's cool. Especially since the anime. I'm pretty sure... I want to say that besides Pikachu, Meowth is the only other, like, Pokemon that is readily known because of the anime. I guess another one would be Eevee, but... I think Eevee's just super popular in Japan for the most part. That's why we see a lot of merch for it. Oh god, Snubble. Hi, Snubbubble. You have Intimidate, which is really annoying. And you're also a really annoying Pokemon to find. I'll talk about that later. I keep saying that a lot, but there's a lot of things I want to talk about later. And one shot kill. Hey, crit hit. Nicely done. One more trainer. You're really gonna see me from there, so I have to go all the way around. You suck. And what do you have? You have three Pokemon. A Jigg There's the Jigglypuff. I knew there was a Jigglypuff in here. Can't even get this Pokemon yet. Brick, break it to pieces. If you're not using a fighting type, though, uh, I can only say good luck. Now, here's the thing, too. If you have a Haunter or something like that, you literally have no worries from this gym. Normal types can't hit uh, ghost types, and Haunter can learn more than just ghost type moves at this point, so you can easily ch cheese the gym like that if you so wish. I just opted to go with the fighting type, and well, since Machop is a trade evolution, I don't like using trade evolutions for, uh, well, for LPs, I should say, unless if it's very easy to trade. I just gonna, yeah, just, it's a big reason why I chose Heracross, especially since Heracross is just that overpowered. I love using this thing. All the jiggly puffs are down. And level 21. You're the highest level member now. Oh, no, no, no. Cleared out the gym. Pretty easy on that front. Just, we'll take care of the gym leader at a later date because uh, she's tough. I'm not gonna grind or anything like that, but I definitely can restore my HP and PP and all that, so we're gonna do that real quick. But that's gonna be a thing for now. My mother is calling me. Uh, how are you? I found a use. Okay, I guess I can show this then. I was gonna end things off right here, but I want to see what she got us. So I digress. And all actually, I have a bike for a reason. Yoink. What did our mother give us? There, okay, that replaces the repel I bought earlier. Cool, and no other packages. Anyways, that's where I'm gonna end things off for this one, so next time on Pokemon Soul Silver, we'll be taking down Whitney of the normal type gym and heading north into Route 35. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.